Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jurassic Arena. Here we have seen battles between some of the greatest predators of all time. But this is not where today's battles will be held. Today's battles will be held at our brand new Battle Royale Arena with every single species making an appearance. So we have the herbivores running out, getting some snacks, preparing for their impending doom, but perhaps one of them will be crowned the victor. Now I will say they are at a minor disadvantage today because we have eight creation labs churning out herbivores while all of the other ones, 12, will be strictly releasing carnivores. Because, well, herbivores don't attack each other and we want this to be a battle to the death. So I think it's time to release the beast. But look at how peaceful everything is here for right now. We have the, uh, you know, Taurosaurus, Ankylosaurus. They're gonna panic a little bit because it's not the proper environment. But it's a nice flat arena, so we'll get to see all of the carnage. Let's start by releasing some Dilophosaurus. Now, Dilophosaurus are a small predator known for their toxic venom. We'll see if that can save them in this competition. We have Mayungasaurus and Giganotosaurus. We are releasing two or more of each of the carnivores in this battle royale. Spinosaurus, one of the fan favorites, will make his appearance. And of course, if you are ready, if you're excited, then give us a roar for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I should have watched that. That would have been magnificent. The new Carnotaurus makes its entrance into the ecosystem, into the game, into the Battle Royale arena. We're going to release the Baryonyx and Allosaur. More new things. And it looks like things are already dying. Oh, that's just unreleased things. The fan favorite Velociraptor is released into the arena. More Velociraptors, cause why not? I like raptors. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the Indominus Rex. We'll take a look at him in a moment, but we also have to release the Indoraptor. This Indoraptor has definitely been crowned champion of different competitions in the past. We'll see if he's successful again. There we go, release the other one. And release the Sukamimus. The Carnotaur. Just extra carnivores, because we had more. And then a whole pack of Deinonychus to go along with this. To even it all out. Let's see if we can watch over here. As the Indominus is released from his pen. Ready and ready to go into action. So we see a fight going on right down here. We see... Ooh, the Giganotosaurus fighting off against the Triceratops. Kind of want to get in that uh, vehicle there and see if we can drive around. So, uh, you totally need to refill the... Oh, I guess there's a lot of damage going on. Let's see who's going down. Oh, the Ankylosaurus smacks into an Indoraptor. But I don't think that's a fair fight. He's definitely at a minor disadvantage. Spinosauruses are doing some feeding over there, but the Indoraptor in the background is looking like he wants to take down the Spinosaurus. Deinonychus running around looking for scraps. Who's gonna win here? The Indoraptor goes for a bite on the Ankylosaur. It doesn't look good for him. Ankylosaur is my favorite dinosaur. Ooh, gets tossed to the side by the Indoraptor. As this Indoraptor fights a Spinosaurus. And it looks like it could go either way. Ooh, the Indoraptor runs away, scared. As we see a fight over here, the Tyrannosaurus Rex taking down another herbivore. Ooh, no, the Mayungasaurus. All right, so we'll see what comes out of that. The Carnotaur picks a fight against this much larger Spinosaurus over here. So let's get a good view of all the carnage around us. Ooh, Carnotaur goes in for a quick bite using those horns to its advantage, trying to get some extra damage. In. Oh, in the background, an Indominus Rex takes down an Apatosaurus. Ooh, Spinosaur takes another bite on the Carnotaur, and that looks like it's going to be the end of this battle. This is a lot of carnage! Whew. And there he goes, as this one... Ooh, Spinosaurus defeats an Indoraptor. Over here we have an Indominus Rex looking like he wants to square up with another Indominus Rex. That'll certainly give everyone else here an advantage. Tyrannosaurus Rex picking on someone that's smaller than him. 
the Gigantospinosaurus. It seems like he's going to be having an easy battle here as the Stegosaurus tries to avoid any sort of combat. Ooh, will we see the classic battle Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops here? He's trying to pick his target. Who's it going to be? Oh, we do indeed see the Tyrannosaurus versus triceratops i would get in the vehicle here but things are just moving so fast do we have the vehicle out here let's let's drive to the top of the ranger vehicle and see what's going on Ooh. nice little giganotosaurus versus tyrannosaurus not a bad photo Ooh. that was a worse photo oh well, still got me lots of credit but it looks like the T-Rex has taken down the Giganotosaurus. Over here we have a Giganotosaurus fighting up against the Sukumimus. Ooh, who's winning? Let's see who it's gonna be. Oh, Giganotosaurus looks like he takes a serious chomp out of the uh, Sukumimus. Uh, back off, T-Rex. I, I ain't in this fight. Oh, yep. Looks like the Sukumimus will be falling prey. Let's see what else we can go see. Ooh, very successful. Uh, either Sukumimus or Baryonyx over there. I believe that was a Sukumimus. Uh oh. No, Diplodocus, don't fight that. Ooh, Diplodocus might be fighting a uh, Giganota. I'm sorry, a uh, Indominus Rex soon. Ooh, looks like our Tyrannosaurus was successful against the Triceratops, as we may have guessed. But a classic fight indeed. But here's a fight we need to see the Indominus, or Indoraptor, versus the Tyrannosaurus Rex. They're sizing each other up. Ceratosaurus running in the background. Oh, he got in the way of the Ceratosaurus, but I got a mid-chomp. So, it looks like the uh, T-Rex is doing well against this Indoraptor. But the Indoraptor does a nice, serious hit. This fight could go either way. Jeez, you're just chilling in the background there, aren't you? I have a feeling these sauropods might just kind of... Or some of the sauropods might come out on top here. I think the Indominus Rex might be one of the few things that can take them down. What? What's going on here? Will this be the end for the Indoraptor? Oh, and it will be. Looks like we have a little Velociraptor almost taken down. But the Tyrannosaurus Rex defeats the Indoraptor. Oh, but here's a fight we want to see. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus the Indominus Rex. Which Rex will reign supreme? What a photo. What a photo. I'm even getting achievements out here. Learning where she fits in the food chain. Ah, probably something to do with the Indominus Rex. The fight could still go either way. Neither of them are looking bloody. But this time, oh, never mind. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh! Hi there. How you doing? Alright, let's hop out of the vehicle. I'm taking way too many pictures here. Let's see the carnage. The Spinosaurus are still alive. Tyrannosauruses are being successful. We've seen one of the Indominus Rexes go down, but it looks like we have the other Indominus Rex matching up against the T-Rex. Now keep in mind there were three T-Rexes in this arena, so they had a minor advantage, but the Indominus Rex should have the killer instinct to defeat them. So we'll see. They have the claws, they have the teeth, but who has the willpower to succeed? Ooh. Looks like it might be the uh, Indominus. No, no, it's a fair fight here. Could go either way. Ooh. Indominus brings it a little bit closer. Looks like the next bite might win. As the uh, in the background looks like we have a Sukumimus against a Sinoceratops. And Sinoceratops does indeed go down. There's a lot of bodies. I feel horrible. This doesn't feel good. But they're, they're all fake dinosaurs. It's all for entertainment. The Tyrannosaurus runs off, avoiding the Indominus Rex. So it looks like the, this Indominus Rex will be the last of its kind continuing the fight. As we can see, a Ceratosaurus fighting a Spinosaurus back here, and seems to be getting the better of it. In the background, we see two Allosaurus fighting each other, and a Ceratosaurus takes down the Spinosaurus without taking a single hit. He's doing quite a good job. What have we lost here? The Notosaurus, the Gallimimus, Carnotaur, Taurosaurus, Velociraptors are still running around, but I've seen Deinonychus and Styracosaurus dead, as well as uh, the entire pack of Dilophosaurus. Things don't seem to be going too well. Let's go into the tree line and see how these cowards are doing back here. It seems we have a Velociraptor that ran away from the combat. A Polycanthus Baryonyx. Yeah, Baryonyx is a, probably out of the competition by now. The Mammonchosaurus is uh, 
Doing pretty good. Avoiding all combat. I don't know if anything besides the Indominus would want to fight it. But is this where we'll see if the Tyrannosaurus or Indominus will be successful? Both are looking extremely weak. The next bite will win. And the Tyrannosaurus runs off again. Meaning the Indominus will still stay alive. Over here we have the uh, Sukumimus fighting up against Tyrannosaurus. Could go either way. Perhaps next hit wins. In the background we see that Ceratosaurus picking off an Allosaurus. Ooh, and they decide to part ways as well. Let's take a look at the bigger picture here and see what is still alive. It looks like we have a Sukumimus. Ceratosaurus. A Chunkingosaurus is one of the final herbivores. Ooh, is Diplodocus fighting up against the Indominus Rex? Well, it was until Diplodocus, probably my favorite sauropod, has been taken down. We see some raptors have uh, found their way out of the enclosure. Um, just using their wits to avoid fighting larger predators entirely. How they escaped, I have no idea, but they managed to do so. Because, well, oh, looks like this wasn't all fenced in as it should have been. Well, maybe they didn't have to be that smart, but they were the only ones smart enough to get out there. You go uh, feast yourselves on uh, all the people out there. You guys deserve it. So, raptors have found their own way around the competition. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't block all that off. But the rest of the carnivores are following by the rules. Tyrannosaurus seems to be dominant today. Even though this is without modifications. Without any boosts. Looks like they want to uh, pick off these smaller carnivores here. But the Sukumimus has won some fights... He's still in this. If he can get two chomps on this Tyrannosaur before the Tyrannosaur gets one, he will be victorious. Alright, so who's it gonna be? Oh, looks like the uh, Ceratosaurus might not be as lucky against this 100% health Tyrannosaurus. But no, T-Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King reigns supreme once again. Now the Indominus Rex is biding his time over here, so he might be able to pull something off. So let's see if I can actually block this in. There's power lines stopping the construction from being had. Dead bodies everywhere. Any dinosaur that wants to escape will be able to do it. I don't think the Velociraptors have any chance against the larger carnivores anyway. We see the Indominus Rex. Is he going to take out the final herbivore in this entire thing? It's very tall and... Oh! Yup. Looks like he's going to take it on and take it down without a threat. Oh no, we still have the, we still have the Brachiosaurus over here. So, will the T-Rex go for it? Now, if the uh, Indominus Rex does take on the Brachiosaur, then that'll be the last herbivore out. I think the Brachiosaur is the last herbivore standing. We have two Tyrannosaurus Rex, one Indominus Rex, and a Brachiosaurus. Some of the larger dinosaurs. And Velociraptors are re-entering the ring. Let me see if I can uh, force them to stay within the confines of this arena. So... Meanwhile, we see, yeah, everyone's kind of chilling out there, sizing up their opponents, seeing what they gotta do. But uh, now it looks like the uh, enclosure is going to be completely enclosed. Sure, some of the raptors escaped, but that was on them, so there are six dinosaurs still in. Sorry, I don't think the raptors are gonna be able to do much here. In fact, I don't think they will fight the Tyrannosaurus, but yeah, they're just gonna kind of run around. As, uh, let's see how. The other raptors are doing. How are... Ooh. No, actually. These are the only raptors that, uh... Ooh. They look like they're just hungry. Dehydrated. Oh, they never went to the middle to get water. Well, that's on them, unfortunately, so... They left the arena. The wa You gotta go into the middle of the arena to get water. You need your sustenance. And it looks like the Indominus Rex will be going up against this Brachiosaurus. As the two T-Rexes fight it out. I think we all know what the final battle of this is going to be. Kind of what it's meant to be. Oh, man. Sauropods just go instantly down to the Indominus. I feel terrible. But the Indominus is sitting here. He's going to have at least 50% health going into this final fight. And it looks like this T-Rex is at lower health. So the Indominus has been, you know, picking on the Sauropods, biding his time. And we have our final two contestants. The Indominus Rex and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's look at their uh, dinosaur rating. This uh, Tyrannosaurus has boosted himself up due to combat infamy by 1,505. The Indominus Rex, on the other hand, has only boosted himself up by 316. So we can tell the Tyrannosaurus Rex deserves to win this competition, but who will win? 
It looks like this Indominus Rex is uh, looking for prey. He wants to hunt. He wants to fight. I would love to heal up the T-Rex because he deserves the win, but this is how the battle royale will be played. Oh, we see a Velociraptor communicating with the Indominus Rex. Let's see if the Indominus Rex is trying to make an ally in this competition. It looks like he is not. The T-Rex! He wants to make the engagement here. Interesting. Will the Velociraptor weaken up the Indominus Rex first? Nope! He doesn't want any part of this. So, it looks like the Indominus Rex will be having the advantage in this battle. Now, last time we saw these two fight, the T-Rex did win. However, now the Indominus has every advantage in the book. Let's see how this goes. Oh, but the T-Rex goes for an early bite, taking the advantage for himself. I think two more chomps. Oh, there it goes. Tyrannosaurus is on his last legs. He's bloody. Let's see what they can do. This is going to be close on... I'm shaking over here. I'm nervous. I want the T-Rex to win. I'm cheering. Oh! Okay. Down to 13%. The next chomp will win. This could go either way. Now, Indominus has the timing advantage, but we've seen T-Rex overcome this before. Come on, cheer in the comments who you want to see win. This could go either way, and they're gonna just... Oh, they're friends. That's nice. Friendship prevails. Now, they're both going to kind of run off until we see uh, someone else. Ooh. Has the fight been picked again? Oh, they don't... They kind of want to fight, but they don't want to fight. They know they have to. They know they have to. It looks like the T-Rex is more ready than the Indominus. Who's going to win? Oh. Who's going to get that first bite? Oh, no. Tyrannosaurus Rex is hurting. Going for chomps that aren't ineffective chomps. What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh, man. I'm terrified. Who's going to... Oh! Tyrannosaurus Rex goes for the bite. And it looks like with one more chomp of the neck. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, the Tyrant Lizard King. We have here the Queen of the Cretaceous Period, Tyrannosaurus Rex. You're not going to roar for me? You're just going to sit there with your scars and whatnot? Well, we have our champion. So that has been this battle royale. Of course, we have the Velocir referees still running around. They have plenty of food. There are feeders here. Tyrannosaurus Rex will not pick a fight with a smaller Velociraptor. So they seem to have cowarded their way into the finals, but that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed this battle. If you want to see some different modifications, some little boosts to some of your favorite dinosaurs, let me know what dinosaur deserves a modification boost in the comments below and if you see someone else posting your favorite dinosaur make sure you thumbs up them as well so we can give some people a nice unfair advantage i know i'm gonna be putting my votes for the uh, velociraptor and ankylosaurus but if you want to see the spinosaurus and the triceratops get some boosts let me know in the comments anyway hopefully you have enjoyed left a like on this video subscribed if you want to see more battle royale and we'll see what we do next time. I wanted to do this again because you guys really seemed to enjoy it last time. And, uh, yeah. I assume I'm going to be doing more. We have this world saved. We have it saved without modification so we can do a nice clean slate to add whatever you guys want to add. And, uh, we'll do it either in here or a close-up match in here. I kind of want to do another battle royale again. So let us know if you want to see the full battle royale or the Coliseum match. But it looks like this nice little arena over here will be home to our new champion. So, congratulations, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We'll see you next time.